In Hoboken, many business and property owners voiced their concerns about potentially bringing a special improvement district into the Mile Square City. Consequently, we have special improvement districts. They are a partnership. And the most important thing is that they're self-governed and they're created by you. They're run by you as the stakeholders, the business people, the property owners. And you are the people who have a seat at the table and you control that destiny. It's very similar to a mall. In terms of all familiar with that, and the concept I use is this, it's a mall without walls. There are no walls, there are multiple property owners. However, the same concept of working in, inside of a mall is now working inside of an improvement district. You had First Street le less tax than we are on Washington Street. Well, we're the ones that are really suffering. First Street is actually growing. All right, but there's a problem up here. You're not going to get the lights improved because public is denied. If I could right. respond, and I appreciate all your comments, um, and I would agree with most of them, um, if not all. You have the um, delicatessen's Christmas Eve being yeah, some I, double I, I, I hear you, and one of the things, one of the specific that I think is a hot topic for all of us is parking. You know, we're going to be at the table having this conversation before that ordinance is on the agenda and being seemingly oh, that's what I it. And what I would tell you is to even address each one of these things, the rain gardens, whether it's the uh, uh, homeless, emotionally disturbed, however you want to call it, I see those things too. My family and I see those things too. The business owners on Washington Street, we see those. We're going to be able to address those as this entity. You're going to have a place to come as a business owner. And we will respond to that. I'm a property owner in Hoboken on Washington Street. I've been empty for five years. Uh, five years is a long time not to have any revenue come in. I also have another store empty for two and a half years. How do I, as part of this organization now, become involved in getting that? How does it help the store rentals that are empty on Washington Street? How does it help us? There's a lot of technical issues involved with that. Um, one of the things that happened in General Square, which I was very involved with in terms of their improvement district, is that they actually worked with the governing body to make and the city to make sure that they were able to put some programs together to help the homeless. I've met the manager for both the exchange place as well as the um, downtown Jersey City. And these are professional people that have a full-time role and they sit and they work with businesses, they have continuous meetings, and then they sit with the government and they make recommendations from a zoning perspective, from a land use perspective, from you know a capital um, installation perspective. You know, the they're in being able to get input from everyone and have that person that will advocate for the businesses in organizing that to sit with the city council, the administration, etc. That's going to go a long way. I'm John Hydus with the Hudson County View, the Eye of the Community.